Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Anna and in this video I'm going to be reviewing a new productivity mobile app and desktop task management system called Taskade. Taskade is available on iOS, Android, Firefox, Chrome, Mac and PC. In this video I will be mainly taking a look at the desktop version on a Mac and towards the end of the video I will also show the mobile experience from an iOS device. Taskade has free and paid versions available currently. The free version is limited to 100 megabytes of storage, whereas the monthly $5 subscription does give you unlimited storage for your information. To get started using this app, you will quickly need to create an account or sign up with an existing Google, Apple, Facebook or Twitter account. Setup only takes a couple of minutes and once you have created your account on either desktop or mobile, that same account works for both and instantly syncs across the different platforms much like if you are using an app like Google Docs. So now let's take a look at the desktop version. You can customise the colours of various info including your background and if you prefer dark mode you can also swap over to that. On the left hand side we have some simple navigation options such as a calendar, start info and most importantly your workspaces. As you can see I have created a couple of different workspaces and within these workspaces you can create lists. The lists option includes items such as a weekly planner, meeting agenda, project board, mind map and more. Once you have created a list such as a meeting agenda you can share these lists with colleagues via either a viewing link or an edit link. An edit link allows that person to also edit your list. Taskade has real time collaboration so you can literally see others typing info onto the lists. Sharing lists is quick and easy to do and because of this Taskade appeals to companies who need to communicate with multiple colleagues on a frequent basis. On the right hand side there are also some built in chat functions as well as the ability to make video or audio calls with others. This is something I have not seen directly embedded into other workspace apps like this before and in my opinion it makes Taskade a great contender against its competitors. My favourite part of Taskade is the weekly planner and when creating various lists like a weekly planner there are lots of customisable features. You can indent items, add specific due dates, add comments, attach files, highlight text, turn on notifications and even add certain tasks to a Google Calendar. Moving back over to your account's workspace overview, you are able to see when upcoming tasks are due, as well as a visual roadmap, save templates and your completed tasks. In general, I found Taskade really easy to use, particularly because of its many features seem to be laid out clearly. However, if you aren't happy with the current layout of things like your lists, you have multiple options to alter this by swapping from the default list view over to board view or action view. Now taking a look at the mobile version of Taskade is very similar to the desktop version with the same amount of functions and on the mobile app you can even see a few additional default features such as a virtual bullet journal. Overall I found the app also very easy to use. In conclusion Taskade is a simple and effective task management system and due to more and more people working remotely from home I would say there is no better time than now to start utilising productivity workspace applications like this particularly if you are the owner of a startup or medium sized company. So that's everything for my review and if you are interested in Taskade I'll leave the link to the necessary desktop and mobile links to download it in the description down below. So thank you for watching this review video, if you enjoyed watching it please give this video a like and also subscribe to my channel as I make regular videos on a wide variety of topics such as technology, making money online, business, motivation and much more. So thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next video.